Adolf Hitler Adolf Hitler was born on April 20, 1889, in Braunau am Inn, Austria-Hungary, to Alois Hitler and Clara Peltzel. Alois, a strict customs officer, had a tense relationship with his son. Hitler's mother, whom he adored, died when he was 18. His aspirations to become an artist were thwarted after being rejected twice by the Academy of Fine Arts in Vienna. During this period, Hitler lived in poverty and developed his strong anti-Semitic and nationalist beliefs, partly influenced by the racial and political climate in Vienna. In 1914, Hitler enlisted in the Bavarian army during World War I. He served as a dispatch runner on the Western Front and was wounded twice. He found a sense of purpose in the military and was deeply embittered by Germany's defeat in 1918. Like many Germans, he believed the country had been betrayed from within, giving rise to the stab in the back myth, which blamed Jews, communists, and others for the loss of the war. After the war, Hitler remained in the army and was tasked with infiltrating political groups. In 1919, he joined the German Workers' Party, later renamed the NSDAP, or Nazi Party. His oratory skills, charismatic leadership, and intense nationalism helped him rise quickly within the party. By 1921, he had assumed control of the Nazi Party and introduced the swastika as its symbol. Hitler's first major attempt to seize power came in 1923 with the Beer Hall Putsch, a failed coup in Munich. Hitler was arrested and sentenced to prison, where he wrote his autobiography and political manifesto, Mein Kampf, My Struggle. After his release from prison, Hitler worked to rebuild the Nazi Party and gain power through legal means. The Great Depression of 1929 created fertile ground for his message of national revival, scapegoating Jews, and promising to restore Germany's former glory. In 1933, President Paul von Hindenburg appointed Hitler as Chancellor of Germany. The Reichstag fire, a suspicious incident, allowed Hitler to convince Hindenburg to pass the Reichstag fire decree, suspending civil liberties and allowing the regime to arrest political opponents. In 1934, Following Hindenburg's death, Hitler merged the offices of president and chancellor, declaring himself Führer, or leader of Germany. The Nazi party swiftly established a totalitarian state, suppressing opposition, censoring the press, and using propaganda to control public opinion. Hitler envisioned a racially pure Germany, free of Jews, whom he blamed for Germany's economic problems, World War I defeat, and the spread of Marxism. The regime implemented widespread anti-Semitic laws, starting with the Nuremberg Laws of 1935, which stripped Jews of their citizenship and forbade marriages between Jews and non-Jews. The Nazis also sought to create a fascist state through aggressive militarization, elimination of political opposition, and propaganda orchestrated by figures like Josef Goebbels, the Minister of Propaganda. In 1939, Hitler invaded Poland, prompting the start of World War II. The Nazi strategy, known as Blitzkrieg, swiftly overran much of Europe, including France, the Netherlands, Belgium, and Denmark. As the war progressed, Hitler escalated his racial policies, culminating in the Holocaust, the systematic genocide of six million Jews and millions of others, including Romani people, Poles, Soviets, disabled individuals, and political dissidents. Despite initial military successes, Hitler's decision to invade the Soviet Union in 1941 and his declaration of war on the United States in December of the same year stretched German resources thin. By 1943, the tide of the war had turned against Nazi Germany, with major defeats such as the Battle of Stalingrad. By 1944, as Allied forces advanced from the West and Soviet forces from the East, Hitler became increasingly isolated and paranoid. He retreated to a bunker in Berlin. In April 1945, with the city under siege, Hitler married his longtime companion, Eva Braun. And just days later, on April 30, 1945, they both committed suicide. Hitler by gunshot, Braun by cyanide. Their bodies were burned to prevent desecration by Soviet troops.